Pam DeMoff has made history in keeping her seat in Oakville, North Burlington. I've been re-elected in, in the brand new riding, so I'm still the only MP from Oakville, North Burlington. The incumbent liberal is part of a red wave that came across Halton region again, and it's something that's unheard of in a typically conservative region. We just keep doing what we've been doing for the last four years, and I think it's, it's a real testament to what we've been doing here locally, as well as what our government has done, that people want to continue to see that. DeMoff won back her seat with nearly half of the riding's votes, just beating out Conservative candidate Sean Weir by just over 5,000 votes. The tight race between her and Conservative Sean Weir would mean that the residents would still be getting someone with town council experience and a history of working closely with constituents. Yeah, I think it's a real benefit when you are uh, a federal member. Darren Fisher uh, from Halifax was on council. There's a number of people who were municipal councillors and I think you bring a different lens to it because municipal council is the closest to people. So I think you bring that with you when you when you run federally and when you are working in Ottawa that you still have that connection with people. That connection with residents has maintained professional connections with former colleagues on Oakville's council. Sean is a great candidate. He's a fantastic individual. He's got uh, a lot going for him. We would have been well served definitely with Sean. Uh, my own personal love is for uh, for Pam and uh, we've had a great friendship over the years and I was proud to work with her on council, proud to support her in her federal endeavors and uh, hopefully be proud to support her moving forward. Liberal supporters at the Tin Cup in Burlington say that they're happy to have Pam back and are optimistic because all of Halton's seats are filled by Liberals. I've got a lot of faith that the Liberals are going to take us to a good place. They have for the last four years and we're looking forward to the next four years now. I think they've got a really nice balance of, uh, of protecting the economy and making the economy thrive and also looking out for the future. For instance, the green policy is solid and there's a delicate balancing act. I think you've done a very, very good job of that. She sat and had coffee with me. First politician to ever have coffee with me. And I'm like, and we connected right away. All my concerns were her concerns, so I can represent that. For Halt News, I'm Natalie Stoberman.